Welcome to our module 10.4 in Intermediate Excel. In this video example, we'll look at how to use HLOOKUP function. Now in HLOOKUP function, H stands for horizontal. So first of all, we'll let, let's understand our example here. We have some vendors here who ordered some quantity and we want to calculate our sales. Now to do that, we'll input the HLOOKUP formula. So let's write HLOOKUP. Now lookup value here is our sales and then we have table array which is the range of our top table and let's choose the row index and I'll go with row number two now we're using here exact match so let's go for false or zero and if you press enter we have the second row from sales I mean from the table and we have the same value as 354,000 what if, if we want to bring the sales total here into this column? So we could also do that through our HLOOKUP as well. We, now let's use our HLOOKUP formula again. What I'm going to use here is the array formula. I'm going to add rows from 2 to 8. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now I'm going to add curly brackets because it's, uh, because it's the error formula and after adding those rows I need the total now HLOOKUP formula does not work with error formula so we need to use a function here Now we have used error in our previous exercises so I hope you still remember it what I'm going to do now is add some product function here I'm going to cover with those curly brackets and again we'll use control plus shift plus enter and our number is there for sales the total numbers now if you go into our status bar below and if we highlight the sales column then we have the same sum as we have in our sales through our HLOOKUP formula so we'll use some other formulas in our next videos see you in the next video